We have lots of exciting things to report for the month of September 2018. This is a record enrollment year for us. We have 505 undergraduate students, many of those joining us online, and I want to extend a special welcome to our online students, and more than 200 graduate students. We're also seeing students coming from far and wide, so students from 42 states and the District of Columbia, as well as 23 countries around the world are joining us as school sustainability students. So that's really fabulous and wonderful to see. We'll be launching a new study away in Hawaii this year, the first of its kind for ASU, where students, online students and on-ground students will have a chance to study in a region of the world that is undergoing some very intensive sustainability concerns, including around energy systems, water, food, cultural preservation, and other issues. This course will be open to any student who is presently in or has taken SOS 314, SOS 315, or SOS 324. You'll be hearing more about that in uh, the weeks to come. I'm also very excited to announce that we'll be having at least four, perhaps five, study abroad opportunities for both summer and global intensive experiences coming your way. In October, you'll hear more about those opportunities. The Swedish Center for Sustainable Food Systems is up and running. I'm very pleased that Kathleen Merrigan has joined us as the Executive Director and as the Kelly and Brian Sweetie Professor of Practice in Sustainable Food Systems. This year, you'll see a lot of really amazing events coming out of that new program. We're working on concurrent degree offerings with the Thunderbird School of Global Management. The new dean of the Thunderbird School, Sanjeev Kagram, has a deep and rich experience in sustainability and sustainable development. I expect many opportunities to be forthcoming between Thunderbird and the School of Sustainability, including special concentrations, four plus one programs where students can start with either the School of Sustainability or the Thunderbird School of Global Management and then finish up with a master's degree in either one of those schools. We're also doing some really exciting things with the Herberger Institute for Design and the Arts. You'll hear more about that in my next video posting. I hope you're all doing really well. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Remember that you've got the best student services team in the entire university. We're all here to help you succeed. That's our number one priority. So I wish you all the best for this month and I'll see you in October if not before.